today we are going to be soldering the um, pinholes, pin connectors, I can't even remember what they're called now, to the Arduino because we are going to be, well, we're going to be doing a little bit of a Arduino tutorial. So we're literally starting right at the beginning, we're going to get our pin jobbers, so from now on that's what they're called, pin jobbers. Okay, um, I'm going to actually do it straight down. So, straight down on the thing like this, um, and the pencil under the side just to keep it level, close enough. Okay, we need to wait for the soldering iron to heat up, it's a very efficient soldering iron, um, I got this years ago now, but I like to have it quite hot, um, so um, with heat sensitive equipment you have to be very careful. Um, also I like to use quite thick solder, um, it's, it's preference though, there's no reason why, I just do. So now, as I say, we don't want to um, leave it on the joints too long, this is the temperature I like to use it at. Okay, well done. Okay, now mind step back. Step back, or you'll get burned. I'm actually waiting okay. to say I just like step back, or you will burn. Right, whatever. I think I'm going to get you to do some of this. Yes. But one thing, the fumes from this uh, that. Uh, solder's often lead based. What does lead based mean? It means be bloody careful not to breathe it in. What is that that keeps making a noise in the background, George? Is it my phone? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Just recently rooted my phone again, so I have no idea what the sounds are. I've got my phone near my um, ear. So this goes off again now. Okay, right. bye. Right. As I say, um, when you're soldering always heat both the pad and the pin that you're heating well the, the object you're heating up at the same time and although I haven't soldered for quite some time that's not a bad job Nicely, please. yep hmm? not, bad. not bad at all right next lot should be really good next lot then do the other side what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the ends of these, each end, and then you can do the ones in the middle, George. Okay. There you go. You'll probably want that in that hand, yeah? Yeah. Okay, George, hold it by that bit there. Okay, now, okay, now remember, hold it a bit more like a pencil, that's it, and finger up there, okay. so you got a bit more, yeah, that's a bit of control, okay, now, Perfect. Right, always, always put this back. Okay. 
Yeah. Making sure to wash. Some of the stuff That's right. Okay, that was his. Not bad at all. Okay, we've got a couple more bits to do, and then we can start playing around with the Arduino. It's a very simple plug and play kind of thing. Right, last bit. Oh, they're horrible, monkey. Why is that? Right, I've just noticed on here that this is. Let me just get you in. This is all off kilter for some reason. So, all I need to do heat all the pins and hopefully bend it back. bit better. Yeah, there we go. Now, you'll also notice here, we've got a couple of bridged ones. Um, is that, yeah. On here. So all you need to do is separate and pull it back. I think I'll quickly go over them again, possibly, if I need to. No, that's all right. Sorted. Okay, so the last six pieces of solder, we can get on with playing with it. So, zoom right in on this one. You'll see I'm touching both the soldering iron and the pin when I want the solder to bead off. There you go. If, your temp if the temperature's right and you're doing it right, it will just follow the contours of the, the tip of the uh, metal showing through and make a little molehill. Don't worry about neatness, it doesn't really matter. There we go. There's our Arduino already to use. Okay, so all that's next to do now is to plug in your Arduino to a, um, a USB. So, some of them have the old bulky USBs, some of them have the mini ones. It all depends on which version you've got.